Hey everyone, how's it going? Shuffles back here with another video, and we got two huge pieces of news for you this morning. Happy Monday, everybody. Um, I'm going to make this really, really quick, because I was literally on my way to bed, and we found this out. So, I guess the biggest news, and the most exciting thing, and probably the reason why you clicked on this video, is that we have two new gear sets coming to Watcher of Realms. Now, these sets do exist on the Forerunner server. It took me some digging, but I did find them. Uh, if you click on this Mystery of Artifacts event and you scroll down to the bottom, you can see right here, smack dab in the middle, we have Unshaken Will, which is a Mythic Ascended set that we do not have yet on this server. So, kind of as I expected, this set is only available in tournaments and events. So you can't get it anywhere else. I'm going to show you what it does, and I'm going to show you the other one as well. And also where, if you want to see it, where you can find it. Why does my screen look weird? Hey, uh, hold on. I'm not scaled very well here. I know probably nobody cares, but now that I've, now that I've seen it, it bugs me. Oh god, it's, all, it's such a mess now. We were double screening our uh, stream today. And now everything's all moved around. All right. Good enough. Um, <laughs> sorry about that. So, come in here, click on gear. After you click on gear, click on filter. Click on select gear set. And you'll see Unshaken Will and Morale are the two new gear sets. So neither of these sets are in the game. You can see the other four right-hand side sets. If we go to the left-hand side and we do the same thing, you can see there's only these two sets here. Um, and they're the ones we have already. So coming back here, Unshaken Will. Unfortunately, if you click on it, we don't have any of it. Uh, but what you can do is if you look up here in the top right-hand corner, there is a little toggle. You can either see kind of what they all look like, or you can click on this one, and it's going to tell you what they all do. So let's take a look. Uh, Unshaken Will, plus 20% HP. This is a three set, obviously, because it's on the right-hand side. Uh, when being attacked, recovers 5% of max HP, triggers up to one time every 10 seconds. Now, this is going to be a great tank piece. You could potentially put it on a fighter. But most fighters are attack based. Um, you could put it on pretty, pretty much any tank, though. Like a pure tank, you put on a damage dealing tank. Uh, that's a big HP number. And then the ability to self heal for most tanks is going to be enormous as well and gives them a little more self sustain. Um, so I kind of like this set. The problem is. From what I understand, you need to finish top three in your tournament in order to win a set of this gear. Um, I assume you just get three random pieces, and that means you're probably going to end up selling most of it. The good news is that it is Ascended gear, which means it does go up to 66%, which is really nice. Um, but the bad news is that you can't, there's going to be nothing you can ascend into it. So if you have two pieces to a set, you can't ascend a third piece that you farmed in to complete your set. Um, like you can see here, I have three pieces of this uh, Aegis Wrath set, but I ascended one of them in order to complete the set. So you're not going to be able to do that, which is going to make making a set of this Unshaken Will or Morale very, very difficult. Um, and from what I understand, I actually asked a couple people on the Forerunner server to post a piece of gear for me, and everyone was like, uh, I sold all mine. And they were like level 90, level 100, and they had none saved. So keep that in mind. Don't expect anything too crazy. But the set itself looks kind of nice. And this one's even more interesting, although we don't have this one currently in any of the existing tournaments. Morale set. Uh, when on the field, all allies deal 4% bonus damage, does not stack. So you could put this on your healer, for example. Um, I know a lot of people are running Invigoration on their Dolores or on their Elowen. Uh, instead of getting 
attack buff to one unit, you can get 4% damage buff to everybody, which would be way better. Um, unfortunately, again, it's going to be really hard to get a good set of that to put on such an important unit. So those are the two sets I want to share with you guys today. Uh, they just got added to the game, so you probably haven't heard about this yet. So I want to make sure I did the video as soon as I could so I can let you guys know. The second piece of news that I have is probably less exciting. But they do have, currently on the Forerunner server, I'm not logged in over there right now, and I can't switch over for you, but they have a Legendary Fusion going on. And I don't know if this is something you guys are interested in, or if you would appreciate it or not, but basically over there, when you come down to Fusion here, they have a Legendary Fusion, and they have an Epic Fusion, and you need to collect... If you've ever played Raid, it's very similar. You need to do a bunch of events. You need to collect the rare from all the events, fuse four of the epics. Then you take those few epics and you can fuse the legendary. So um, going to be a real pain of an event, but it is a way to get new legendaries that is already in the game, but it's on the Forerunner server. Um, we just don't have it yet, and we don't know when it's going to come or if it's going to come. But they are testing it over there, and it was something that I didn't know they were doing. So I thought I would share that with you, along with the two new gear sets. So I'm going to go to bed, because it's really late at night. It's actually like 2.30 a.m. Um, but again, I wanted to get this out to you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching, and have a great day. Bye for now.